the consolidation. I don't really see a whole lot different except maybe this alveolar capillary thickness. Does that make sense? Or look reasonable? Okay, quick question. So the patient has increased alveolar capillary thickness but they don't have the full-blown alveolar consolidation. What type of hypoxia is going to occur? And I'll go ahead and tell you it's under the hypoxemic hypoxia category. Dysoxia? Not dysoxia, that's a toxic. Now, if it was a... Um, I'll go with if it's gram negative bacteria causing a septic shock in your ammonia, then yes. But this is just an alveolar um, 